Hello and welcome back to these lessons on note reading on the staffs. This is lesson four and now I would like to continue on in the left hand series part um, to have you be very good at naming notes in this cliff as well. And for those of you who are just tuning in, the, this is part of a series. So this is number four in part of a series. Please do check out those other three as in each one I am giving small bits of information to help in note reading. So this lesson, I want to continue on with again what we call the left hand clef or another name for it, the bass clef, also meaning the lower clef or notes that go down lower. Now again, as you recall in all the other lessons, we have simply A, B, C, D, E, F, G. That, those are all the notes that we ever have to worry with in note reading on the staffs because they do repeat themselves. And in the last lesson, you may recall that I showed you once again what we call the middle C or simply C and then the B, and I had that neat little memory device about the B, think of it like a bird, B for birds, sitting on top of the wire. Then I mentioned briefly in the last lesson that the actual clef itself, if we connect this area right here, you can now see it looks just like a fancy letter F, which is what it is. It is the letter F, and it points directly to the note right here, which is and F. Now, you'll notice here we have the C, the B, the F. Now, in this lesson, I want to fill in a couple of these gaps. You can already guess, of course, that since we're going in a downward fashion here, C, B, and then on this line, particularly here right on this line, is the A. And of course it goes in the line we call a scale. A scale can go up or down by step and it's simply going through the alphabet when it does this. So there again we have middle C, B, and A. And then if you'll see down here we have F. I'm going to write it over here just for the purposes of demonstrating something else. Now you may, may say, well, wait, looks like there should be a note in between. Sure enough, because remember, notes can go either on the line or in the space. And sure enough, there is a note right here. And this one's interesting because remember, as I was saying, we have A, B, C, D, E, F, G. That's our musical alphabet. Instead of A to Z like it is in English, it's A to G. And you'll notice this is going backwards. So if we're going backwards before a is going to be a G. There it is. So here is this scale line. C, B, A, G, F. Again, always remembering the F is the clef itself. Clef meaning key, F. Middle C always being up here above the line. B sitting on top of it. A going through the line. Then again going backwards, still going backwards. G and F. So in this lesson, what I want you to master is to see these five notes right here uh, and to know what they mean in what we call the left hand or the bass clef. And again, if you need further review, please feel free to go back and look at those other lessons because this is a multi-part series in which I try to give small puzzle pieces to make note reading very easy. And again, you might say, well, wait, we've heard a situation where you have, you know, like every good boy does fine, this sort of thing. There's nothing wrong with those systems, but the system I like is to take just a couple, three notes in each lesson, get those really good, and then to work with them, get, get some music paper out, drill yourself, you know, so forth. Get to know those because then you'll recognize it just like that when you see it on the staff rather than having to say, let's see, I have to count up and do the memory device and so forth. This, I feel, is much easier. But in any event, hope you will join us for the next lesson where I will start to expand on these ideas. Thank you so much and thank you for listening.